SAPC underscore TS 452 underscore 2410 exam practice questions with explanations are available in the video for you to study. You are a consultant on an SAPS 4 HANA Cloud Brownfield project. In a meeting the customer decides to remodel an existing business process in accordance with clean core principles. Which of the following SAP Signavio solutions can be used for the remodeling? ASAP Signavio Process Insights BSAP Signavio Process Governance CSAP Signavio Process Manager DSAP Signavio Process Intelligence The answer is C. In a Brownfield SAPS 4 HANA Cloud project, when a customer wants to remodel existing business processes while adhering to clean core principles, i.e., avoiding core code modifications, they need a tool to design, model, and document processes collaboratively. SAP Signavio Process Manager is the correct tool for modeling and designing business processes, making it ideal for process remodeling aligned with clean core principles. What is one difference between the SAP Fiori Launchpad and the classical SAP Graphical User Interface, SAP GUI? A. The SAP Fiori Launchpad can be personalized, while SAP GUI cannot be personalized. B. The SAP Fiori Launchpad provides maintenance of favorites and file access, while SAP GUI only provides maintenance of favorites. C. The SAP Fiori Launchpad is role-based while SAP GUI often offers single complex transactions for many user roles. D. The SAP Fiori Launchpad enables browser-based transactions, while SAP GUI does not. The answer is C. SAP Fiori Launchpad is designed with a role-based approach. Users see only the apps tiles relevant to their job role the interface is intuitive and task oriented sap gui typically presents complex multi-purpose transactions like main 21n or va01 which often serve multiple roles and require more training Which of the following are possible personalization options of the SAP Fiori Launchpad? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. A. Add tile groups to business roles. B. Add new catalogs. C. Add tiles to existing tile groups. D. Add new tile groups. The answer is CD. In the SAP Fiori Launchpad, users have several personalization options to tailor their experience. C. Add tiles to existing tile groups. Right pointing arrow users can pin additional tiles, apps, to groups they already have access to. D. Add new tile groups right pointing arrow users can create their own custom groups to organize tiles as they prefer. How does SAP Fiori achieve the role-based design principle? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. A. By defining SAP Fiori apps that users can tailor exactly to their needs. B by giving end users exactly what they need for their work c by separating transactional and analytical apps in different business roles d by decomposing big transactions into several discrete apps suited to the user's role
The answer is BD. SAP Fiori's role-based design is all about delivering simple, task-oriented apps tailored to specific user roles. Unlike the classic SAP GUI which often relies on large, complex transactions. B. SAP Fiori provides each user only the apps and tasks relevant to their job, increasing usability and efficiency. D. Large SAP GUI transactions, like ME21N, are broken down into modular Fiori apps, like create purchase order, display purchase order, etc., based on user needs and roles. For which of the following document categories can you perform an item-wise release in the flexible workflow for purchasing? A. Purchase order. B. Request for quotation. C. Purchase requisition. D. Scheduling agreement. The answer is C. In flexible workflow in SAPS, 4HANA, item wise, line item level, approval is currently supported only for purchase requisitions. C. Purchase requisition right pointing arrow flexible workflow supports both header level and item level approval for purchase requisitions, allowing more granular control over approval processes. At which level do you activate SAPS for HANA output management for purchasing documents? A. Application object. B. Purchasing organization. C. Document type. D. Document category. The answer is D. In SAPS, for HANA output management, BRF Plus based activation is done at the document category level, not at the document type or organization level. D. Document category right pointing arrow output management is activated based on the document category, e.g., purchase order, contract, etc., which groups document types for similar processing logic. What can you control with a document type in purchasing? Note, there are three correct answers to this question. A. Item number interval. B. Number range. C. Allowed item categories. D. Confirmation control. E. Allowed account assignment categories. The answer is ABC. The document type in purchasing, e.g., NB for standard PO. FO for framework order, controls several key behaviors of purchasing documents. Here's what it can control. A item number interval right pointing arrow the document type defines the interval, e.g., 10, 20, 30, used for line item numbering. B. Number range right pointing arrow you assign a number range to the document type to control how document numbers are generated. C. Allowed item categories right pointing arrow the document type controls which item categories, e.g., standard, subcontracting, third party, are allowed for that document. Which of the following assignments can you configure? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. A. The allowed item categories for each document type. B. The allowed item categories for each account assignment category. C. The allowed account assignment categories for each document type. D. The allowed account assignment categories for each item category. 
The answer is AD. In SAPS, for HANA purchasing configuration, the system allows you to define which combinations are valid through specific configuration paths. A. You can configure which item categories, e.g., standard, subcontracting, consignment, are allowed for each document type, e.g., standard PO, framework order. D. You can configure which account assignment categories, e.g., cost center, asset, project, are allowed for each item category. For which of the following business scenarios does a situation template exist in situation handling? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. A. The due date for a blocked invoice has passed. B. A supplier confirmation is pending. C. A contract is ready as a source of supply. D. A purchase order approval is pending. The answer is A B. Situation handling in SAPS for HANA provides pre delivered situation templates for common business events where users need to take action. A. When an invoice is blocked and its due date passes, a situation is triggered to notify users. B. A situation template exists to notify when a supplier confirmation is pending, helping ensure timely procurement. You have several valid purchasing info records for one specific material available in your system. What is the system behavior when you manually create a purchase requisition? A. The system will choose the info record with the lowest price. B. The system will list all valid records and the user needs to select one. C. The system will list all valid records and propose the cheapest one. D. The system will choose the most recent info record. The answer is B. When manually creating a purchase requisition for a material that has multiple valid purchasing info records, SAP does not automatically choose one based on price or date. Instead, it lists all valid info records available for that material and vendor combinations. Requires the user to select the appropriate info record manually to ensure correct sourcing. This ensures user control and accuracy in the purchasing process.